Five rides, like five rides at all. Literally five rides. Welcome to another episode of Frogs Hollow TV, brought to you by our great partners, the TC Media and Rose and Sons Earth Moving at our Frogs Hollow studio here in downtown Warrior And I'm fortunate enough tonight to be joined again by co host <laughs> Derek Wheelie Rose and Sam Egan from Egan Motor Racing. Welcome, lads. Cheers, mate. Good to be on the show for another episode of It's Happening Race. Boys. Where were you the last episode, Derek? I could be going on just outside there, boys. Yeah, going just on. Just so you know. Couldn't even find time <laughs> for a TV show. So, uh, firstly, on a serious note, on um, behalf of Frog Solo TV, we'd just like to send our thoughts to all imp impacted by the tragic accident that was, uh, I think, Desert Race there last Monday. The spectator was tragically hit by a vehicle on the side of the track. And I suppose when you see the footage that we've got footage of Greg Garten and those boys, Sam, like in the show later on, and they just like it's just the nature of the beast. You want to be close to the action, but at the end of the day, it's just something like that was. Yeah, yeah. mate, and I mean, that's the first death that I know of in 45 years yeah. of a spectator being killed that way. Yeah. I don't know, but how you, how you get away from it, mate, the mm. spectators down the track is, the is what the thing's made yeah. of. Like, yeah, exactly sad, right. sad day, mate, sad but it's day. the part of the thinking. I don't know what they'll, what yeah, they'll yeah, do. But. Yeah. So uh, now on to the rest of our show tonight. First, we'll give a print. full print preview for 2021. Wheel is word is back for another week. That's exciting. Looking forward to that. For providing a preview with our tips on upcoming events, including the Kempsey 300 this weekend, the race at Port Germain, of course, next weekend's ARB, the Gap 440 at Hilston, which Derek will be there next weekend on the back of a truck I got told today with the mic in hand. So I'm looking forward to getting down there and putting on a bit of back, of, back a truck. of a truck <laughs> in Hilston. Oh, God. So it could, be, it could be cold and fresh down there. Yeah. It could be cold. There won't be many EMU exports drunk next Saturday. I don't know. It'll be pretty great going for me. <laughs> so we'll get straight into our Think preview for the show, of course, the 45th edition of the Tats Think Desert Race. Uh, just before we start, some amazing footage again sent in, so thanks to all the following. Uh, some awesome videos and footage sent in from Dean Kays, which is the navigator for Brad Gallard, so look out for that. Mark Rooney, which actually took the incredible footage of Greg Garten, we've been able to source that for the show, so thanks to you, mate. Uh, Shane Hutt with some awesome OVR footage. To watch Rachel Dean Bolton, Cara. who sent in some epic think shots from about the 50k mark on Monday. And also some clips from Howes Motorsports produced by Toy Rodriguez, which is Josh Howes' better half. So Derek and Sam <laughs> will jump straight into the Think 2021 wrap. And 101 out of 150 starters finished the full distance. That's an extraordinary That's number. That to me, I'm not a racer, but that I just look at that straight away and just think the track must have just been obviously a lot smoother, a lot, different, and a lot yeah. easier. We'll get into it later on, but Jeff yep. Pickering broke the three hour mark for the first told, time ever, so the track, was, the track was quick. Yeah, very, very quick. And um, you find they're done a fair bit of work after all that rain that out there, yeah. which in the desert doesn't rain, but yeah. you know, I reckon uh, it was pretty smooth car wise. I don't know about bike wise, but I reckon. Even time wise, though, that yeah. 139. Yeah. I mean, a few years ago, Trav Robinson was probably one of the quickest. It was the 146. 146. Yeah. Which yeah. That's seven minutes, mate. Quick. Seven so, minutes is a long time. So we'll go straight into our winner. None of us picked him last week. Brand new car. And he, he did some yeah. at, at the end of the race that he had that overheading drama. It was about like halfway back to think. Saw Josh behind him, but he took off for Toby Price from the Gold Coast. Congratulations to him. Uh, he held on for a couple of minute victory there. And uh, yeah, just too good. Just, yeah. Mentality yeah. from the start, got the Bale of women. He's a professional. Yeah, that's what he does. He does for a living, living so. but yeah, good. Tell him, mate, he's still going to get down and back, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Effort. Brand new truck, like, big thing, not the test as far as test test wise mm -hmm. goes. But Josh, Josh had to be proud yeah. as punch where he finished. Second, massive. Like, I watched it live coming in and like, yeah. a massive second. Like, Josh House, you got to remember, them, them, them boys, them boys are not. 
the money that is thrown at Toby's car to Josh's car and the pre run and the pre run. Josh, they don't do anything. No, tests exactly right. Up. They just get there, get off the trailer. That's a big. That's a and big question, other, him and Eric. And those other boys are completely in the five race yes. program. Yeah, yep. that's right. But exactly Toby, right. Well, good on him, but he's only there for the one. Yeah. He's only there for the one. The thing. So like right. Josh and Bo and. Yeah. Any of those boys, mate, they're there to win the championship at the end of the day. Yep, like, exactly. Right. Bonus, but. A lot of people were talking about Josh and the drive he had on that Sunday coming home. He got, they, well, I was talking to Eric, they got right up Toby's yeah. backside there. And then Toby home, spotted him. Toby and took off a bit. And obviously, Toby just thought, well, if I've got to go now, I'll get beat. So oh. he put it down. But like the kid, Josh Howes, he's really, like, obviously, don't have to start throwing the word around. But the way he's driving at the moment, he could he could be Australia's next. He, year, him, so. him, him and Eric. Him and Eric are a good combination, and, and not being silly, mate. Josh Josh House could be the next Shannon Wrench. Mm. Like, I know it's a big call, but the way that he's driving and his maturity of, of coming from where I knew him yeah. to where he's now, maturity goes a long way in all throw racing. Yeah, it'll be good to see Wrenchy back. Yeah, yeah sure. it will be very good. Because he, is the, the, same, he is the benchmark of the yeah. special the yep. pro car. I agree. So it's interesting to see where he steps in. I've got no really reports there. I heard maybe it's Griffith, but he hasn't entered down there. So maybe a Love Day or a Rainbow. I know he likes the Rainbow. Well, track, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or <laughs> or <laughs> How good that they? <laughs> so now we'll move on. Uh, Bowen with Robinson and Shane Hunt, the ABR, an eighth podium for the guys there from Perth. Another heartbreaker. Won't repeat what Bo said on the podium, but he's effing sick of running second or third. <laughs> but... We could have wrote that script for him before he got on the podium, yeah. but yeah. bus driving, but the truck it's just laughed, mate. Yeah, it'll it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Mm. It's about happy, it doesn't, but, but I was talking to Shane, and their goal now obviously is to win the Australian Championship, and he's had two good results. The point score worked in his favour at St George, but yeah. like at a desert race like Rainbow, he'd expect to, like a winner race like that. He, he probably the confident man going into a race at Kalgoorlie with points and a half. So championships well on the line for those guys. Uh, Aaron James, we talked about him before, a massive drive in fourth. And then Peter Costello with a spirit of effort, one of the first local home in fifth. So. Yep. Yeah, big, big, drive from those big, big drive from them boys. Mate, my, my big drive was Andrew Bowles. Mm. Top 10 all weekend from yeah. from prologue to the run down to the run home. Like, yeah. like those cars, prone cars are a hell of a lot quicker in a straight line than Malsey would mm. be, but he must have a dialed in. Big change of... Uh, Engine, yeah. Change from the way he performed at St George, obviously had massive dramas over there, but just to turn up the thing, as you said on the last show, local yeah. local knowledge and just, just held yeah. it flat. Well, it looks like the whole way. Yeah. So, seventh out, right. Gallard was in six, another strong performance from Brad Gallard. Yeah. He'd be happy with that. I know he's real I know he's real busy. Well, I've got some inside word today. His next race with the Don River Dash. So, yeah. we'll, we'll see him up there. Then uh, the North Queenslanders, uh, Michael Marson was in eight. Another good run for Mick. Uh, Billy Geddes, ninth, and Talbot Cox in 10th. Not sure the issue for Talbot, I believe he had a bit of a drama. He was about seven or eight minutes slow on the run home, so yeah. lost him a few places, but another good run for those. Uh, wasn't Greg Gartner's best way he can. We saw the footage, he got that flat tie and the, the rubber got around the diff, brake brake line and diff, so yeah. it would have been a hairy ride for Jamie Jennings having him to think on Sunday morning. Yeah, he can have that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a lunatic. He's a lunatic. And also, Sam, we saw one of your tips for the top five, Ryan Taylor, come home in 13th. Uh, yeah, well, that, he'd be still very happy yeah. with that, but yeah, he didn't, wasn't the top five that I thought he yeah. would be, but they'd be still happy with 13th, mate. And we talked about like the 12 on the cars and still in the and wait, like, to yeah. be, you can't expect when they're pro and 7th, 9th, no. like, but Ryan will be happy that they still had a big adventure with the family, so yeah. they'd be stoked with their weekend there. Stevie Graham, who we'll see next weekend, live at Hilston. Was happy with his uh, first run in the Alumi Craft Sports Flight in the 16th. So a massive effort for him. Class yeah. win. Yeah, no, good drive. Yeah, good car too. Kai Floyd did what many thought he wouldn't win the side by side turbo class. I think 20th vehicle home. Uh, another, <sighs> he just continues to grow and grow in the sport. Kai Floyd, he was, he was a long way off Toby Waitler, I believe, a few minutes behind there. And then Toby, I actually don't know, I think he had drive line failure, Toby and McKinney. So. Lee, Lee Canyons. They're getting quick. Michael Zacker actually did a two, I just want to note this, two hours and four minutes on the way home, the quickest ever time from the Canyon. He was like three or four minutes quicker than Floyd on the way home, so that's lightning. Yeah, from it's that big long thing Yeah, it's too, a big longer one, yeah. yeah. Zacker from King Shops there. Yeah, right. Yeah. From the Gold Coast, so. Good effort from him. And then it was also great to see a special mention to the off-road rush guys in yeah, Queensland. Cool. <laughs> well, that's what we all love to see. Chris yeah. West, and they just hanging out. 
So the father, uh, Chris, finished 18th. Good run for him in the truck, rush yep. truck. And then young Cooper, 16 years of age, with Reese, the grandfather, that pop in the yeah. navigator yeah. seat, come home in 34th. So, I mean, talk that that Chris West, and I've never. I'd, Met a lot of people in my life. I don't think I've ever met anyone that smiles as much as Chris West. Oh, <laughs> always. always. It doesn't matter smiles. what he's doing. You can be talking to him. Oh, look, yeah. Airbox, but it's all right. We'll be back. Yeah, so, be back. congratulations to those three generations. A couple of other notes. Simon Tuck with the Super 1650 win. Sam Pictet, Stephen Nickel, Strand Tour Drive, Sam Pictet, Rick Chambers, Side by Side Pick Sport, Sam Pictet that too. And Adam Murphy, I believe he was one of the Western Australian entries in the Extreme Four Wheel Drive. Obviously, Bentley didn't finish on the way home, so he got the Four Wheel Drive trophy. And then, of course, Mr. Pickering, Jeff Pickering, <laughs> the man himself. You doubted yeah. him, Tom. I doubted him. I didn't give him. JD Allen, unfortunately, didn't make the checkered flag. But Jeff got a 15th class win in the Pajero. Extraordinary. He was one of the first to end a love day in a couple of weeks. But man, I don't think he's ever going to stop. He's on a rival, Lucky Matusius, the yeah. other side for only a few years. But, yeah. And no, I was, really. yeah, incredible, no, great to see. But uh, final no, words from Pink, no, 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 another no, successful no. Um, car category. So Josh Howes now leads the championship by a big margin. Uh, Gartner's, uh, Bo Robinson's actually in second, then Gartner. So the Travi trucks yeah. are really hauling in. Not 100% sure what's going to happen at Love Day. I've got about, yeah, but... It'll be a race, really, to keep an eye on in a few weeks' time. Yeah, it will be. Um, and no, like I said, I've raced Love Day over there. I didn't have any success, but I'll tell you what, it, it's it's a quick track, too. I'll tell you what, the, them trophy trucks over there. I think they're all suit bar on the back. Yeah, it's a bit. But there'll be a few local blokes that race that race. Oh, that yeah. haven't raced after the championship race, like Aaron Hayes and Bice, like that. Yeah, yeah. Because well, whoever you finish, you haven't got to nominate this year. You no. just get points. No, you get points no matter what. Them sort of blokes will throw a bit of a spin in the work. Like even blokes. Brother Carl, he'll probably be there. Like the yeah, swine, yeah. They can, they can make it harder for some blokes or it'll help other blokes. So. Yeah, big championship this year, obviously, then finishing in Western Australia in October. to our next event review. It was the inaugural McCoskers Contracting 100. It was only this weekend passed at Mount Larkham near Gladstone in central Queensland. And we're once again lucky enough to be granted some awesome in-car footage from Craig Grog there in the Razorback. He unfortunately did a clutch uh, Sunday morning, I believe, so that put him in out there. He had a few dramas, but yep. he's uh, like us, Derek, just, uh, just get in there, fix her and go again. He just loves up. first year in the sport and just wants to go racing. So, go racing. so it's awesome footage. Check it out. Uh, hosted by the Gympie Auto Sports Club, and it was one of the rounds of the ARB Queensland Short Course Championship. 
And surprise, surprise, no, this show isn't on repeat. Kai Floyd with another outright victory in the game. Would, would you just let you think Monday and... Yeah, the boys, he flew there. home, dropped it off the pass <laughs> and went out and won it by 12 seconds. Yeah, Over right. Bailey Cox in another Can-Am, so they finished one two at Dalby and now one two at uh, Gladstone on the Dalby, weekend. So they going to win the next round. Yeah, so extraordinary yeah. run of form and, yeah, well, I know it's, he's in a Can-Am and you, you just can't go past... Kyle Floyd in any race he's in at the moment. I don't care if he goes. Gun, pick, him for gun, yeah, pick him for gun to win in a couple of months' time. He'll probably win it before me showing. And he is still looking for a gym car. So if you've got Kyle Floyd <laughs> in your friends list there on Facebook, hit him up. It could be an easy sale there. Uh, I believe it was a real fast and technical track. Derek, extreme four-wheel drive compared to who he raced at Gimby a couple of years ago, that Kristen Truce in the Nissan Patrol third out. Like, he, he drives like a silly dog. He, he drives like a lunatic. He drives like a lunatic and he doesn't give it. Ah, no. zoo. Loves it. What he hits, how yeah. he goes, front, back. His you first know, outright podium at events, so they were on Facebook. They were stoked for that. Pretty good effort for an extreme pool drive. Yeah, big mate. effort. At a tight, I've seen some footage quickly after work today of Krog in the Razorback, and it's tight. It's there's some no, it is. It's it's tight. tight so, great effort. Richard Tazen, who we also know pretty well, Derek continued his great form in his new can in. They finished fourth, and then young gun Jared Vanderhall finished in fifth. So 18 of the 40 crews completed full race distance there. So good to see Queensland racing. If there's one state you want to live in if you want to race every weekend, it's definitely Queensland. Oh, Queensland. Queensland. Racing all every weekend. Queensland do the race every weekend. And like I said, you and me have been there. Put on good shows. They just put on good shows. And they just love it. It's just so so relaxing. And they actually welcome you in. And that's what all throw is all love about. It. So now for our exciting segment which we missed last week because Derek was absent from the show it is wheelie's word segment 60 seconds for Derek to get something off his chest take it away wheelie oh well hello boys and girls ladies and gentlemen um all i like to talk about in my little 60 seconds is uh what goes into uh behind the scenes of off-road racing um big thanks out to everyone that uh owns a property that we actually go out rip up tear up vice versa, build tracks, push trees out, move rocks, whatever. Um, so at the end of the day, it is. it might sound silly, but without the property owners, without the volunteers, it goes a lot in behind the, the scenes of uh, off-road racing as not being silly, our own race at Warrelda. A lot of hours go into the track and you've got to have a lot of good mates behind you and you've also got to make sure that the mates behind you are volunteering for the day and all the helpers that call on board. It's just a good thing. We all like our own race. We are all pitting, we're vice versa. And anyhow, end of the day, I'd just like to thank all the property owners, volunteers, and everybody else that helps in off-road racing to put an event together. Cheers, boys. And I'll see you at the next race. Yeah, thanks, Wheelie. Uh, another great segment. We're looking forward to many more of those moving forward. Now, before we go into previewing what is to come in the coming weeks, and God, it's a busy time, I want to share with you the tones of one incredibly talented veteran off-road and good mate of ours on the show, Lucky Matusi. Plus, take a look behind the scenes at the man himself and the ongoing struggles that come with being Derek Wheelie Rose. Very entertaining. Take a look. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. And maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. If I made you feel second best.
A man in his element. Look at that. They're singing to him. <laughs> what's that? What's the problem, Derek? Boy, boy, <laughs> the quick boy, side's gone. The, the, the quick side and the top's gone. Derek, run! <laughs> it's a Derek Sony of setting up camp. <laughs> oh, get oh, 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 you are joking. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 Next time Australian Idol's on, your nomination will be the first thing. <laughs> Legend. So now on to our previous segment, with many races in the schedule over the next five weeks. Busy times ahead. If Hopefully COVID stays away, fingers crossed, because if, if, if it does, off-road racing in Australia is about Busy. to boom in the next two or three months. Kempsey 300 this weekend. Derek, you've been there, Sam, you won it in 2015. We all know about it. Round two of the New South Wales Motorsport Australia Off-Road Championship. And 2018 champion and club president Matt Huxley returns to his favourite venue in the RPS Ridmaster. Derek has to be one of the favourites. He had a good 12 finish at St George. Yeah, Thoughts? he will be. But mate, it's 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 a hard track. It's a tough mate. race. It's um, it's not that mate. They're all my mates. The whole lot of the Kensington boys, mate. I get on real well. With, well, the whole lot of New South Wales and Australia, but mate. How do you pick? How do you, how do you? But how do you pick? How do you pick a winner out of that? Yeah, it's hard. Honestly, how do you pick a winner out of that? Pick one name. One name. That's how. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. Brent Turner, it's Cobra Meal. Yeah, one of those. Pro one of them. Pro Light. Pro Light. Mm -hmm. Pro Light, because it's not. If, if if it stays dry, a little bit dry, like it is, it is wet up there. Mm -hmm. Have been talking to a few it's boys up there. A pro at the moment, it's a Pro Light track. Slippery. If it gets wet. Class two, class three, can yeah. yeah. Long distance. Sam, yeah, it Sam, is. What, you won it that year, Sam. And long, long weekend, long Sunday. Yeah, yeah I think it'll be up the road. I, I think I started tenth. Yeah. Yeah, you did. And just work a lot. A few. Like it's tough on machine, mate. So there'll yeah. be a fair few breakdowns. It's a rough race and the trees and stuff. Aren't yeah, it does get a bit rough. But it's a it's a good race. I probably should go back one year. But um, my pick's Tom Dixon mm. in the mm. pro gym car, yeah. mate. Yeah. He had a good drive. Yeah, at, okay. um, Dong Ding along, so yeah, I'm going with him. And he's, he's sort of he said he's got the engine sorted, so anyone with a gym car on gets an engine like that. He's got a 2.7 Toyota Hilux engine. Like yeah, turbo, if you do so. yeah. if no trees jump out in front of him, mate, yeah, okay. I've gone. Fair I'm, course, a, I'm a form back and I can't go past Spizzo, but yeah, first time in a long course event, a lot different than Dong Ding along, but I think you uh, both agree. Spizzo's yeah. there. Oh, yeah, box Sunday yeah, yeah. is in the top Definitely. two or three for sure. And a little car, not very yeah. big that car. So others to watch for for me, Tim Baker, local. He's always he's not the he won't be the quickest car there, but he's the sort of bloke just he's reliable, yeah, mate. reliable. He's reliable. Uh, Benjamin Scott's got that gym yeah. car. Here's another one, Darren Williamson. It's a it? big gym car though. Yeah, big gym it's car. like. It's like Matty Huxley, they're mm. big. They're big, big cars, cars. Is that up in that top section, mate. And Darren Williamson also finished, I think it was 22nd or 3rd, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's in the old... Yeah. Uh, Coulthard. 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 Jim Coulthard. Car. Yep. So here's there, you, you never know, the bloke like him. Yep. As you said, Brendan Turner. Then you've got Phil Lovett, and he was second in class at Fink, and young gun Dylan Walsh from up the coast there a bit. Someone in a can or well, they could easily come into the fray. Yeah, so oh, like, don't, there, mate. don't forget, you've got the Warren Barron, you've got Thomas Berry, you've got yeah. Todd Wilson. You've yeah, got someone like Anthony Absent. Anthony Absent. Like, you've got, like I said, uh, you wouldn't want to flip we a could be in for a big, We could be yeah. in for a big surprise Sunday afternoon. Wish I was there. So now not. we'll move on to the Goodall on Carpentry 200, round two of the South Australian Off-Road Racing Multi Club Series down there in Port Germain. One of the favourite, talking to Aaron Havey, one of the favourite races down there for the South Australian competitors. Hard terrain, that shale, that real hard rock, sand, dust, anything you want. Different, or Definitely different to what we do up here. Hosted by the Spencer Golf Off-Road Racing Association. And Derek, Andrew Fitzgerald will lead the 37 strong field in the Port Germain on Saturday. He was second to Aaron Havey at the opening round at Perilla. Yeah, so in an element car, V8, 
Howard and Shane. Yeah, that's my pick. Your pick? My pick. And if it's Daryl. Yep. Sam? My, my pick's Daryl. Daryl Nissan in yeah. the, the old saw. Yeah. So light. Van Racing. Van Racing a long time. And he, he drives the wheels off that, that thing. That so car's mate, done come, some, It's done a lot of races. Done a lot of races. Come Sunday, mate, he'll be close. Yeah. And he was fifth at the opening round at Prilla also. So good, some good form there. Brennan Forbes has had a lot of numerous outright podiums in South Australia over the years. He's got the Southern yep. Cross Mark V. He's a bit of a lunatic when he gets behind the wheel too. And also other prologues to watch include successful think campaigners David Hall and Adam Burl and then Chris Johnson and Matthew Curtis in the Rhino machine are both serious peddlers. And I'll go for Matt Curtis. He's, I think he was third at Love Day at 2019. He had a couple of top podiums yeah, at Wanaka and Menham. And Aaron Havey actually said he, he's only a young, I've never met the guy, but I reckon Matty Curtis is, is definitely a quick peddler. No, he's my tip for Port Germain this weekend. Now on to the weekend that is following this weekend, and it is the ARB TCT, the Gap 440, down at Hilston in New South Wales. It's round two of the 2021 mm. ARB Australian Off-Road Championship. And Derek, I'm going Thursday, you're going Friday, I'll meet you there, but in for a hell band of a weekend in Hilston. Yeah, mate. Helen, mate, Helen, give you the day off, mate. No, I've got a bit on. I'm not allowed Monday, I'll hire. <laughs> Me and, me and the blue cruiser, oh. mate. We're off. <laughs> so 65, strong quality field. Sam, you've, brought, well, Dave, you've done a few years down at... Sam, you've done a couple down at... Uh, when it was, it was at Bill Gowie. Yeah, now moved 60 k's to... Um, once again, thanks to Andy Ryan and the guys there for having the event at Stackpool over the years. It's now moved to a brand new location at Hilston. And it'll be similar terrain. Similar terrain, it's flat. It'll be yeah. those trees, but be fast, fast, fast. I reckon it'll be a lot. Around. It'll be a lot flatter at Hillston than it was at Andy's place. Mm -hmm. Andy's had a little bit of hill, hill country. I yeah. think you find that Hillston be a lot flatter, flatter, yeah. and a lot quicker. It'll be quicker. Yeah. And I mean, the field. It's just. It's one of those races where you just want to be at the quality in the field. It's not oh, like it's not a deep like sixty five, but the quality in the pro buggies and the pro lights is off the Richter scale. The top 10 cars from Pooncaria, that's very rare too to see in a championship like this, to see the top 10 cars finishing, actually bounding up for the next round. Robert Plan will be leading the pro lights out. He won Pooncaria. I mean, if you're gonna see the Intel media, you know who's gonna win this, you're, you're dreaming. But current Australian ARB champion, Aaron Havey, will return to Western New South Wales in his first chase for his first title in the Griffith area. And Derek, you've seen the list. Who's your tip for the, the Gap 440? I tell you what, mate. If Clayton can finish, will be the Clayton Chapman. Yeah. Yep. Um, like they got the car on song up there. They got it sorted, and um, like I said, I was up there only a couple of weeks back, and uh, yeah. Geez, he's due for a big win. He's due, so he's, been carried. he's due for a big. He's due for a big win, and um, oh, he's just a tad. He's, he, he can steer if the car. If the car. If the car stays what together. About his brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Stuart. Stuart. Yeah. I nah. Sorry, Clay. <laughs> Clayton. Sorry. Clayton. Sorry, guys. I know. Sam. I'm going for Robert Plant, mate. Yeah. yeah. Another pro light. Another pro light. Mate, as you want to know, that car's pretty close to everyone here in Warren Elder. And yes. it's an identical car to my car. So yes. I'm going to go with that car. After he's drive at Poon Kerry, mate, no one would have backed him to win at Poon Kerry. No. So yeah. I just think on driver ability and I don't know what the track will be like down there. Yeah. It's tight. A little bit of his title. Mm. He, that'll come into his play. and. 440k. She's a long. She's a long trip. Yeah, and I. You're right, Sam. That, that, there. that there is a. It is a bloody good. Yeah. It is a bloody good car, and it's close to all their hearts. But yeah, you're right. And also, just to go through the list, I mean, it's extraordinary. Greg Gartner's backing up from Think. He was in yeah. the stadium trucks in Darwin last weekend. The man's busy. a machine. He'll be the leading trophy truck entry there at the Hilston event. Also, watch out for his son Ben. I'm not going to say a winner. He's in the X. Greg Gartner truck, Ford powered trophy truck. Oh, he's he there. Yeah, he's, he had a real good run. He had a good last, run at the Rainbow, last Rainbow, last. the yeah. Rainbow event there, 200 at the start of the year. He's really one to watch. Yeah. Saw him at uh, St George, and they're hoping to have a two car team maybe in the future moving yeah, forward right. in a bigger right, race. But they'll be there this weekend. Uh, also, Damien Nichols, one to watch in the trophy truck class. Two time defending champion Talbot Cox will return to Hilston 2018 2019 champion. He can't be in better form than that. He wouldn't be that, I wouldn't say, happy with his result. I think he got the finish. I think he's fifth or sixth in the ORC championship. But Sam, to win an event three times in a row, you, you don't see that. Jack Rogers has done it a couple of times. Ranchy, of course, but it's a, it's a hard slog out there to win an Australian round three times in a row. Yeah, definitely a big drive. The big thing, mate, and um, yeah, it's hard work. And then I see Glenny Owen going. Yeah. 
<laughs> really, man. Mate, if he can get that car, and then he'd like it used to be. I don't know if he's had yeah. engine change or what he's done, but... He really hasn't really raced for... No, he hasn't. You see, he's got the three in a row there at this track too, yeah. so... I think it might have been the early 2000s, he had a couple well, he won, of, Yeah, he won that last race of the old in 2010, the one you went yeah, there. Got, yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, foggy. Yeah, real yeah. foggy. But uh, it's someone like him, like, even like Mick Marson, second in 19, can't rule blokes out like him. Danny and, and Andy Brown. Danny and Andy Brown. Then we've got eight time Australian ORC champion, yeah, Mark Burrows in the field, so you can't forget him. Like, watch out for Mark and Matthew Burrows there. Out of Melbourne, and also, Brent, as you said, the Brenton Dale Martin, Martin Lewis. third and fourth at Coon Carey. Derek, you mentioned Tony Falabro in the conversation. He's back on track. Yeah. Never write Tony off him and Gary Howe in the Chenworth, and then the locals. You can't rule hat the locals. The Gilson. <laughs> mate, if Richo if Richo backs up from Finn, yeah, <laughs> mate, he'll be there. He'll be there. He'll yeah. be there. He's a serious. He's a yeah. serious peddler. And then you've got Steve Graham and Dean McGimley, another two that would definitely be in the top 10 Sunday afternoon if they get... Mate, they're bloody hell. That's a big effort to back it up from Fink. Like, them boys are... Yeah, unreal. So, I want to tip Aaron Havey. Not many people know, but I've actually been asked exclusively on the show from Aaron and Liz Havey to navigate <laughs> Aaron in the 57... What's well, number one, actually, sorry, at, at the ARB level, in the element prodigy at, in Prologue at Hillston. I'm still... I've got I've paid my license and I'm I'm actually on commentating duties as well, so we're gonna have to work around that. But I can't talking to the community now, I can't knock back an opportunity to sit I'll with Aaron that. Havey. Oh, it's a drill like it's a, I've been telling you for years, mate, drop yeah, no, him more. Yeah, mate, or, you've been telling me for bloody years since we've been doing it and um you got the opportunity, mate. Sit down we'll and back the up. uh <laughs> sit down sharp and hang on, mate, because I can hear he's gonna give you the right lifetime. We'll take how care do, of it. We'll take care of the commentator. How do you feel, Derek? <laughs> Yeah. The, the navigators jumped out and yeah. jumped in with someone else. You've already never hopped back in with me ever again. That's a problem. <laughs> so thanks, 62 we out. Thanks to the guys there. Unfortunately, Carl can't make it. It's a little, not big issues, but a few things he's got to sort out with his new car before he gets back on the track. So also next weekend is the 2021 Zooms Inglewood Cup hosted by Sequora up there at Inglewood. Another great event. No entry list of yet, but I believe they'll still be around the 30, 40 cars, local cars. We've yeah. been there the last two years. Great event, the Zooms Cup. Yeah, good event. Um, would have loved to go gone to it, mate, but I'm still trying to sort 62 out. So <laughs> we, nearly, we nearly sorted 62 out. Yeah, yeah we, nearly, we nearly, uh, <laughs> she was nearly a coup for application all over again. <laughs> So the next episode that we'll be bringing to you will be feature, I'm telling you, some cool footage. We've got big plans, the Hillston Hotel, the Tats Hotel, the showgrounds at Hillston Friday afternoon, the track all weekend. We're going to get right amongst it and yep. just get a few insights to the drivers and we won't annoy them too much. And a bit of live stuff, stuff too. Feel, yeah, a bit of live stuff. Feel the locals. We want to get in, bit of in-car time, I reckon it'll be handy. I reckon it'll be <laughs> real good. But be, <laughs> you got to put, put the GoPro on, mate. On the face are right on you. <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be good. Can't wait down to get down there. And we won't play up in Hilston, but we'll, uh, we'll, have you a, reckon? we'll have a good time. You can please yourself. It's going to be a busy weekend. So it'll be an extraordinary event. And it'll be one of them races where you just sit back and just say, how good's off-road racing, I reckon. Yeah. So they'll put we'll on run a good show down there. Yeah, we'll they'll do. put on a show. So. Uh, so that's, again, once we'll have time for tonight on our episode. Being thrilled again, making this show possible. Stay safe, everyone. Uh, congratulations to all the winners from Fink and Gladstone and good luck to everyone at Kempsey and in South Australia this weekend. And here's to uh, episode five and let's hit the Hillston next yeah, weekend. Cheers boys. Bloody hell. Yep.